this is Calpe, Spain, here on the Costa Blanca. See that famous rock over here? This is where the Kunik Quick Step holds its training camp every year. And this year, this is the press day. We're gonna meet and greet with Julian Alaphilippe, Remco Evenepoel, Mark Cavendish, all those big stars. I'm gonna follow them out on their training ride. But hey, what a great way to start the 2022 year. Okay, we're gonna go down there and see if we can catch the riders getting ready on their bikes, ready to head out on that training ride. Let's get down there. Today, the entire team, around 25 riders, are riding together on this coffee ride. And just like that, the riders are off down the road. Julian Alaphilly, Mark Cavendish, we saw Remco Evenepoel, Casper Asgren, Ilio Kiss, all the guys, all the quick step guys riding down that way. They're all gonna stop down there, I think for a coffee, and I think I'm gonna join them. Now these camps are pretty unique because there are not many times, perhaps this is the only time in the year that all the cyclists of the team are together at one place one training camp and it's here in Spain on the Costa Blanca and this coast it's littered with teams down here putting their training camps on I just saw a Bahrain victorious rider ride by their camp is down here also team Astana is going to be staying at the same hotel tomorrow I'm heading to Yumbo Visma just a little way down the coast in Alicante What is this? I thought it was an actual cafe or bar what we're stopping at, but this is like a little camper that Quick Step has put up out here in the middle of this field. Let's see if the coffee's any good. I won't fault the barista for serving the big boss Patrick Lefebvre first. <laughs> Look at that, quick step cups. This place is all right. How many coffees can these guys drink? You got Julian Alaphilippe right there in the rainbow jersey, Mark Cavendish, Remco, the general manager, Patrick Lefebvre. Everybody's getting their photo in over there, all the media. The riders and they're about ready to roll out of here. Yeah, same to you, man. You know, the thing that strikes me about Julian Alaphilippe, and I was reminded about that today, is that he's so relaxed, he's so playful. He likes to joke around and he's friendly, he recognizes you, he comes up to me and says hello. And, and it's crazy to think a rider like that, that Frenchman has such a huge palmars, so many big wins, including two times world champion. Okay, this is media day. You see everybody's over there. Remco over there is meeting with some of the written journalists. I have my list of writers I'm speaking with today. They're gonna bring me one by one the writers. I got five writers on my list. Remco, Cavendish, Alaphilippe, Fabio Jakobsen, and Casper Asgren. I'm uh, really happy I had a normal winter compared to the one of last year. Both physically and tactically, uh, I'm slowly becoming a better and better bike rider. To become world champion was my dream at uh, the beginning of my career and now to be two times in a row, it, I really want to enjoy it. That throughout I was successful with three stages in the green jersey. Yeah. What more could you wish for as a sprinter? 2021 was a great year. Quick set with the most winning team again. Um, I got double digits in wins, uh, which I hadn't done for a while. And, uh, I've got a green jersey <laughs> 10 years after I last got it. That's it, five for five. Mark Cavendish was just right there, interviewed him, super cool. Couldn't ask him about the 2022 Tour de France, 
No one knows if he's going to be there racing. He's got a battle against Fabio Jakobsen, battle to be back at his best, but what a year 2020. One was, and we all love seeing Mark Cavendish at the Tour de France, and asked him a lot of good questions about that year's, last year's Tour de France. So now wrapping up here, everything's done. Gonna go get some food and call it a day. Just in time for the sunset. Wow, to end the day like this, look at that. Oh, you got the sunset going down over the med. What a great day, and you get a chance to speak to some of the top stars in cycling. Julian Alaphilippe, he impressed me the most. That guy is relaxed, he likes to have fun, and he's in good spirits. You can see that this year around, this time with that rainbow jerseys, he has less stress on his shoulders, and I think he's gonna win even more in 2022. Fabio Jakobsen, that's another cool rider as well, because Oh, his story with the crash in the Tour of Poland, coming back last year in the Volta Espana, winning on the big stage, and he has grit because when asked about him and Cavendish, he said, well, look, team boss Patrick Lefebvre gave me the green light for the Tour de France, so that's my goal. Now, one more note, that final guy, Casper Asgren, friend of Flow Bikes, he's got a big year ahead of him, and it's a big year, and it's gonna be big on Flow Bikes because his big goals, going back to the Tour of Flanders where he won last year in a Belgian team, that is massive for any rider, but specifically in this team, it's monumental in a monument. Casper Asgren, the Danes, leading them back there to the Tour of Flanders where he won in 2021. Also on his schedule, the Tour de France, which starts in Denmark, his home country, starting in Copenhagen. He has a big year ahead of him, and it's a big year of cycling 2022.